are we like? Content you <laughs> shut up. Hoppo Kotal, Hoppo Kotal, can you hear me? Hoppo Kotal, Hoppo Kotal, can you hear me? Watched three. Well, shit. You get over here. You get over here. You stay where you are. You go bonk. Climb the tree. Guys, I'm giving away a secret here. Uh, please don't tell anyone. have a point of view of my ultimate Iron Man. My alt is not on the screen. Thank you, Mister. Here he comes. Here he comes. Are you ready? You're attacking me. Oh, hey. Uh, get in position. Line up the tree. Again, you can only see one window, so it's a bit strange for you. There are two windows that I'm looking at right now. The tree is opened up. And click, click. Chopping down the tree. There's a leprechaun. Fuck my life. <laughs> I don't want the leprechaun. Give me the fossils. Can I increase the mic volume? Yes. How is that? The mic volume should be a little higher now. Alternatively, I could speak louder. I don't think anybody wants that, though. Ah, thank you, run escape. Okay. We are chopping. Extremely high. It's a sapling event. I, uh, I'll take that. Farming experience. Why? No luck. Try the bark. B2. If the positioning is scuffed, I'll just skip this one. Nothing there. Hello, mate. Akura Justice has returned. I already did the leaves. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? This is looking to be pretty scuffed. Oh my god. Okay. Can we do this? One, two, three. No. I don't like that. But I've got a buddy with me, so I'm going to keep at it. I've got a buddy. It's good to have a buddy. <laughs> He's calling it out. I should call it out for him, shouldn't I? Will I? Will I fuck? <laughs> Sorry, mate. 
We're gaming, don't you understand? This guy's wearing a cat mask. Furry justice. He's here representing the furry community. Of old school minstrels. Valmore looks furry. There's a series nobody's interested in watching. Or maybe they are, and I'm just being narrow-minded. I'm just going to check the chat as soon as this event is over. This is very click-intensive. I say very click-intensive. I need to be present. I cannot go AFK. Or the sapling will surely perish. But how are you all doing today? Are you well? Are you happy? Are you enjoying? What time is it where you are? I'm in Asia. I know. It is 11 o'clock in the morning. On a Thursday. What am I doing? Gaming? 11 o'clock in the morning on a Thursday? Right now in China. That's where I live. Spoilers, don't dox me. We have a national festival. It's Qingming Festival, which means Tomb Sweeping Festival. It's a work holiday. So Thursday, Friday off. We are gaming. Hang in there, chat. I will be with you in a moment. I am not neglecting you. But this sapling needs our help. And by God, we're going to get the job done. Oh, I've got one and a half minutes until a random event window, so I might not hop until that has passed. Am I out of run energy? God damn it, we're out of run energy. Ugh, never lucky. I'll work on my cardio. You can barely hear me. I'm so sorry, Caligon. I am working on it. Need to increase the mic sensitivity, I think. Or should I just move the mic closer to my face? How about now? Can you hear me now? This sapling's going to die. Eh, yeah, sapling died. All that for nothing. God. Okay. Hello, chat. Kaylee gone. Can you hear me? How's the audio? Is the uh, is the microphone synced up with the uh, with the video, or are you hearing my voice long before the things I'm describing on screen actually conspire? Rest in peace, Rip. Yes, indeed. Rip. Rip. Indeed. Rip. In. Hopping. Let's continue. Right. Prime the tree. And hop. Again, apologies. You can't see my alt. My alt. <coughs> Excuse me. My alt is priming the trees. My ultimate Iron Man is just there to receive the trees that have been primed. Hence, you cannot see what's going on on the other screen. Here we go. Double click. It's down, and there is no event. Ultimate Iron Man hops, and while he's hopping, my alt is off screen, priming the next tree. Oh, Caligon, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Um, a little bit higher on the mic. Okay. Okay. Higher on the mic. Is that even possible? This is... Okay, I'm going to stop moving for a second while I figure out the microphone. Oh, here we go. Ready? Okay. This could get very loud very fast, so I apologize. I'm going to just go... Oh. Now, how's that? Is that too loud? Too loud? Or just right? No, Caligon, don't put your other audio sources to minimum. Enjoy your music, for goodness sake. Aha! Excellent. Oh! Okay, that went red for a second there. 
Guys, if it's too loud, please tell me, and I will reduce the sensitivity. Uh, we're currently maxed out at 100 now. Fucking cringe lord. Thank you, the power. I'm so glad that you are here. What are you doing here, man? You don't like what I do. Get out of here. You should be spending your day, spending your time enjoying yourself. Surely you have better things to do. Or maybe not. I don't like to make assumptions. <clears throat> right, we have hopped. Here comes the chop. Any luck? No luck. Ultimate hops. Alt primes. Alt hops as well. All right, let's see if we'll get lucky with this roll. This forestry technique, by the way, is absolutely broken. Um, if you get lucky with the RNG, it's pretty much an event every other magic tree that goes down. And at this point... Oh, yes, we are gaming. Where is it? It's underneath me. Let's go. Let's frickin' go. Go. All right, fantastic. One more log. I'm going to let the alt have a bit of fun here as well. He's pretty backed up with logs too, so bear with me. I did take some time the other day to go and get a log basket on my alt so he can... Uh, spend more time chopping and less time having his inventory emptied. It's just a waste of time. The power, if you're still here, my friend, you are welcome here anytime you like. Truly. I mean that with all sincerity. Perhaps my style of commentary will grow on you. Perhaps it won't. But if it does, you are always welcome. But please, I implore you, if you don't enjoy this, do go do something else. There's only 24 hours in the day, and I would hate for you to waste a single one of them. Um, let me do the wasting of time, you know? I'm the only one whose time should be spent <laughs> doing shit like this. You guys have better stuff to do. Alright, the ultimate Iron Man will line up the tree and hop worlds. And off screen, the alt is priming the adjacent magic tree and hopping. There we go. Some lost ancient artifact. <laughs> Excellent. That is, uh, thank you for that. Let me see if I can, uh... A lost ancient artifact buried for centuries. Finally uncovered. What is it? It's a vibrator. Oh my god, put it back where you found it. Okay, no luck. The ultimate Iron Man hops. And the alt primes. And the alt hops. Kaligon, good luck with Vorkath. I wish you all the RNG. And if your RNG is bad, then I hope at the very least... You enjoy yourself. It's important to enjoy yourself. Which is why I'm doing this. <laughs> Which is why I'm grinding to fucking 17 Hunter by chopping trees. Everyone enjoys this. Good God, a dinosaur. Run escape. What are you sending me? Unsolicited dinosaurs. Anytime. Oh my god, I didn't stick around for that random event timer. Did I did it pass? Did I get the did I get a random? I don't think I did. I did not. Ew, gross. Flowering bushes. I am um, I don't fuck with flowering bushes. Too many clicks, not enough experience. Oh my god, we've been kicked out.
Having you guys see the login screen feels like being caught undressed. It's just so embarrassing. Hate to see it indeed, Bookslayer. Banned. <laughs> Could you imagine? Banned for being a fucking cringe lord. Stranger things have happened. Everyone, I have a bit of a cold, so I apologize for that. Um, a little bit phlegmy. So my voice is not its normal silky self. Not that I have ever been described as having a silky voice. No luck. We hop. We, we, uh, we prime. And we hop. I may switch the perspective to my alt a little bit later if you're interested in seeing the priming. Or I might not. When is the next episode dropping? Who the fuck knows? <laughs> okay, listen, I've got some goals. What's that? It's a sapling. And I cannot be fucked. Apologies for swearing. I am from England. And swearing is part of our culture. Uh, the next episode will drop when I have accomplished all the goals I have for that episode, which include 17 Hunter. We're about halfway. Mm, nearly halfway. Uh, level 10 construction. We are halfway. Well over halfway. Some combat levels because I do want to complete the Twilight's Promise quest in the next episode. What else? I had a list written down somewhere. Uh, give it a couple of weeks, basically. Give it a couple of weeks. CD name 500. Are you exploring the possibility of making an exception for Slayer? I have explored the possibility and said no. Uh, there are a lot of friends of mine in the Valamor Locked community <laughs> who have made an exception for Slayer because they have a brain between their ears. I do not. Uh, my attitude is Varlocked means Varlocked for all things that are not hard locked. So Druidic Ritual, I did that already because her blot is hard locked behind Druidic Ritual. Runecraft. Lamping Runecraft is going to be our only way. Where are you going? It's going to be our only way to train Runecraft until level 20. No. Whatever skill requirement it is to use Sunfire runes, Sunfire shards on the runes, that is going to be the only way to train Runecraft after Lamping. I forget what level that is. However, Lamping Runecraft is something we're going to have to do. So we need to do rune mysteries at some point, so we will be taking a vacation. And the Hunter's Guild and Box Traps are both hard-locked behind Eagle's Peak, so we will also be doing Eagle's Peak, spoiler alert, in a coming episode. We'll, do, we'll have like a little vacation episode. Uh, and don't worry, I have a very twisted punishment for myself, which is going to make... Uh, how should I say this? I'm going to need to be crafty when it comes to planning my vacation because if I get sloppy, then the repercussions later down the line will be very painful for me, but possibly very amusing for you. So, no matter what happens, somebody wins, even if it's not me. Uh, you are correct, Caligon. However, you cannot use a lamp to get runecrafting experience. Is this a botched tree? Oh my god, I've done it again. Please forgive me. Right. As you can see here, we're back up at the top of the world's list, which means we are in the next cycle. So, I should move my ultimate Iron Man to this spot. I should move my alt to this spot. I should swivel the camera around to here. On the alts, do the same. And we chop. Uh, yeah, no, you are right. You, you can train runecraft normally by doing just runecrafting, 
without needing rune mysteries, but you cannot use a lamp on runecraft without rune mysteries. And lamping is the only way to train runecraft on this account until we unlock sunfire runes. So, once the 48 slayer grind is done, <laughs> we're not going to be able to breathe easy. We've got to move straight on to the runecraft grind. But I, th I think that's probably a good year away. So until then, we're just chilling, you know? We're just chilling. Alright, here comes the alt. Prime the tree. And click, click. Boom. Give us a fox event already. I don't want a beehive event. I don't have enough logs in my inventory. Oh, book slayer. Nagwa dust. What, what is that? I, uh... Forgive me, I am also playing blind, so I haven't really used the wiki to look anything up. So, there may be methods unbeknownst to me. Wait. Nagwa dust at 20. Oh, hence the 20 runecraft requirement for perilous moons. Right, that makes sense. Ah, it's all coming together. Just give old poison swamp a moment to figure it out. I'm only halfway through my first coffee of the day, forgive me. Sometimes it takes a while to chop a magic tree. I think it was Valamoon told me that my alt with his rune felling axe and level... Dingy shot, wait a moment. Uh, level 87 woodcutting has something like a 7 or 8% chance every four ticks to successfully get a log. And my ultimate Iron Man with his steel axe... <laughs> And level 77 woodcutting has a much smaller percentage chance. So it takes a while sometimes. Sulfurous Essence, 50 XP once you hand it in. Oh, that is fucking fantastic. Book Slayer, I love you. Thank you for that nugget of wisdom. That nugget of knowledge. You have saved me many head scratchings. Give us a fox event already, would you? No! No! Leave me alone, you little green man. It be your lucky day. Is it fuck? He is my nemesis. He always shows up when I don't want him. And he never shows up when I do want him. Which is never. Yes, David, it is in the Paradise Moons dungeon, which explains the 20 runecraft requirements to access it. I was wondering... Why would I need 20 runecraft for Perilous Moons? And the Sulphurous Essence being behind level 20 does explain that. So, mystery solved. I love it when mysteries get solved. I hate uncertainty. I hate not knowing stuff. It's my own personal problem, which I should deal with myself. But there we are. I hate uncertainty. I would rather know the truth and have it be painful than not know the truth and wonder will it be painful? Will it not be painful? This one's taking a while. This one's taking a while. Come on! Give us the wood. Let me have your wood. I want your wood. Hey! Apologies. Come here, little fox. Let's get this. We are gaming. Let's hope we get lucky with the trap placement. The fox is a bit of a dum-dum. Sometimes he just... Straight up just walks into them. Ooh! Thank you. So, it takes about six seconds. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, and go. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and go. There we go. Takes six seconds to disarm the trap. And if you are disarming the trap when the fox walks over it, you will be fine. There's 11! All right! There it is. And with every level higher, the experience rate gets faster. Look at that, we're getting six XP drops now. That is delicious. Oh, okay, spoke too soon. It must be 5.5. .5. So one, we'll see five. And we'll, this one will say six. Am I dumb? Is it true? It's true! Hooray, I'm not dumb. I do wonder why we don't get the integer points for the XP drops. It would be nice to see 5.5. Maybe there is a plugin for that. Speaking of plugins, I had an idea for a plugin. I don't know coding or anything, but I've seen the, the pain and the suffering that uh, all our friends doing the Colosseum have been going through on completing a wave, seeing the rewards they could win if they complete the next wave, and enduring the anxiety that follows. You know, you might be on wave 7 and you see there's a piece of Sunfire Fanatic armor if you complete the next wave. The pressure to complete that wave must be intolerable. So, what if there was a plugin to hide the rewards you've rolled and the rewards you may yet roll with the next wave? Just a thought. Any of you guys into coding? Give that a try. All right, we've hopped. The alt has primed the tree. The alt has been fuck. The alt. The alt has been kicked off. Unfortunately, Chinese Wi-Fi is fine, but it does necessitate using a VPN because shock horror. RuneScape is blocked in China. That's right. I am breaking the law to bring you this exhilarating content today. Please don't report me to the government. I quite like being alive. <laughs> the back-to-back -back fox, come on! Nope, not this time. All right. Iron Man hops. Alt primes. Alt hops. Hello, chat. Here I am. I'm coming to read. Um, disconnected. Bow back. Episodes dropping in a while. Nagra dust, no, 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 mysteries, no, no. Duran, you give me a no with a smiley face. That is in response to what? What did I say uh, that prompted you to? No, don't chop that tree. Chop this tree. There we go. Sloppy misclick. My deepest apologies. You know, yesterday, I got a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back beehive. Oh, that was not fun. I had an inventory full of magic logs for the first one. I was laughing. The second one came. The smile faded a little bit, and I thought, oh, well, back-to-back. -back. You know, what can you do? But lightning never strikes in the same place three times, I thought. And then I felled the next tree, and it was another beehive, and then I just... Felt very sad. Is what I felt. <laughs> but when you're at the magic trees, that's just uh, that's just how it goes. There's no trees nearby for us to uh, grab any logs from, which is also why there's no one else here doing this method. If there was just one little tree nearby, then you could use your ultimate Iron Man or you know your Valamoct Iron Man to give themselves woodcutting event eligibility on that tree, whilst your alt works on the magic trees, but there's nothing. It's just magic trees. So you have to have level 75 magic to work here. And it also means that uh, if you get caught with your pants down and a beehive event comes along, you've got no logs, well, you're screwed. It's not like you can just chop an inventory full of magic logs in, in you know, I don't know how long the event lasts, 90 seconds? Something like that. Alright, come on, come on, 
Give us a fox. Did you guys see Crack with a K? His chunk locked. Volimore, Iron Man. He got the thieving pet. He got the rocky pet. And he's only just started the thieving grind. What incredible luck. And I saw our boy Sigma. He got the golden pheasant egg from a pheasantry event. I do watch other content creators, by the way. I'm not so jaded that I refuse to support my competition. I actually love seeing all these Valamore locked series coming out. But yeah, Sigma got the uh, the golden pheasant egg. Ew, ew, gross. We hop. The golden pheasant egg. Perhaps he will be the first Valamore locked account to get the pheasant pet. Perhaps I'll be the first Valamore locked account to get the fox event. Time will tell. The fox whistle. That is the uh, the item that can turn your beaver into a fox. No, 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 no. Oh, misclicked. <clears throat> Pardon me. It has a 1 in 90 chance per fox event to get the fox whistle. So far, no fox whistle. Never lucky. Any luck? No luck. Okay. We hop. We prime. We hop again on the alt. Now we are back up to world 387, which means cycle two, as I call it. I put cycle one, cycle two. Cycle two is complete. So now we move our characters into their new spots. We swivel the camera around to line up the trees. Again, apologies, you cannot see my alts screen, but I'm just lining up the trees there. Now, World 387, I think I was too busy setting up the stream. I had a brain fart. I may have botched this world, so let's just see. If we get an XP drop and the tree doesn't go down, it means the world is botched. No big deal. I'll just hop to the next one, prime this one for cycle two when it next comes around, and we can get back on with the grind. Let's see what happens. Okay, yeah, as I suspected. So, um, we take the ultimate Iron Man, stop cutting, we hop to 388, we take the ult, you can't see what he's doing, he's priming the adjacent tree for cycle 2 now, and he has hopped to 388 as well. Hopefully 388 is not botched like 387 was. Let's see what happens. Okay, get in position. Click, click, and... All right, we're not botched, but we didn't get lucky. So we hop, we prime, and we hop as well. I will not put this breakdown in the next episode, by the way. Um, so you, you lucky few, and I'll, I'll probably take this stream down once it's finished. I won't post it on the channel because the forestry community, uh, forestry CC, shout out to forestry CC. Uh, and the user who revealed this method to us, a guy called ECX, uh, they do not... Yeah! Yeah! Sorry. Um, they do not want this method. Uh, it, w it, it may compromise their own forestry exploits if this method were to be revealed. Pardon me? On a major... Major YouTube channel. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> On any YouTube channel. I'm not about to call myself a major YouTube channel. The arrogance to use such a word to describe my channel. <laughs> anyway, look, I don't want to sabotage the Forestry CC, so you guys will see. Oh my god, it's over there. You guys will see what I'm doing today. You won't see what my alt is doing, so it's not a total giveaway. But you can see that it's broken, and you can see that the experience is... Wait, is the fox going for that trap? Oh my god, no, get the trap, get the trap, get the trap, get the trap. One, two, three, four, five, six, go! One, two, three, four, five, six, go! I'm counting a bit too fast there. One, two, three, four, five, six, go. This. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
go. I'm going to let the fox walk into one of these traps. I think that far one over there, he's going to, yeah, he's going for that one. That's okay with me because that means that these ones down here won't. Oh, he's turned around that quickly, huh? Oh my God. Where is he going? No, no, stay away. No, let me get it. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> Pardon me. As the power 7695, whatever his name was, says, I am an absolute cringe lord when it comes to commentary. He told me to be myself. Believe it or not, myself is this. All right, another Fox event. We are 54% between 11 and 12. Happy days. Hello, chat. Here I am. Let's see what you've said since I last checked up. I have three fox whistles. Oh my god! I am so... Sorry? I think I'm sorry. Are you an ultimate Iron Man, Never Lucky? If you are, then I'm sorry. Because it means that you have RNG that has been spent on three fox whistles that may have been spelt, spelt? spent elsewhere. You can prime with your Volmore account while you cut your prime tree on your main. Not sure what you mean by that. I apologize. You're never locked. Oh, buddy. Hey. Yes. I know you, sir. Although I can't quite recall in this moment whether or not you are. An ultimate Iron Man, a hardcore Iron Man, a group Iron Man, or just a, a regular comfy Iron Man, like my ult. My ult is an Iron Man as well. Poison Swamp, he's an Iron Man. That's right. I stand alone. <laughs> UIM. Oh, so three whistles. Jesus Christ, I bet dropping those was, uh, was fun. I am very sorry for your loss. Or your gains. Hop worlds. Prime on the alt. Bang, hop. Oh, there's someone here. Mr. Mealpig. Greetings. I am no longer alone. Hopefully that doesn't sabotage the cycles I've got set up here. Hi, Legends! Hey, Big up, gangsta! See you next cycle, boy! Whoop! Yeah! Yeah, good luck yourself. Prime and hop. You still have one in your inventory. Mate, if I get one, I will keep it in my inventory as well. As you can see, I'm hanging on to my anima-infused bark, even though we have no forester. Because I am one of the believers that a forester may be added later on. And 59,000 anima-infused bark is no small amount. We could get a felling axe, we could get all sorts, and the absolute legends in the Varlock Discord revealed to me recently that Ultimate Iron Man can now meaningfully participate in the forestry shop. Because you can just hand the forester your logs. You don't need to note them. I thought that uh, the only way to get noted logs on an Iron Man, uh, Ultimate Iron Man, sorry, was with uh, by killing Ents in the wilderness. And so I was about to give up hope and drop the bark. But at the last moment I was I was saved. Got all your bark. Good boy. Keep that bark. We believe. I want to believe in the forester. Because you guys, you've seen Auburn Vale on the map, right? There's it's there in the in the cache files. If you have, um, if you've got the detachable camera plug-in on Runelight, you can fly your camera from Land's End over the water to Auburn Vale. 
And there's a red redwood. Blah, 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 pardon me. There's a redwood tree there, or what looks like a redwood tree. And it just looks like a very forestry area, you know? It's just the vibe it gives off. It looks like a forestry area. So, I have faith that a forester we shall see. Therefore, the bark stays. You can see my inventory here. It's a little bit cluttered. Um, the pheasant feathers... Oh, fuck off, mate! No, thank you! The feathers from the pheasants, um, I'm just keeping those because it's a little bit of crafting experience. And I really, really love the hat. I love the hat so much. It, it, it gives me, like, it makes me... F when, when my character wears the hat, he looks to me like a, a revolutionary figure. He's wearing, like, a beret with a feather in it. I, I love that. However, we did get the Lederhosen hat. So... You know, it was just wasting inventory space, so I dropped it. Anyway, the feathers are crafting experience. I will drop the leaves. I will drop the bird's nest with the egg in it. I will drop the sturdy beehive parts. Um, I can do nothing with those things. I mean, I could do something with the leaves. Uh, when I do the cooking grind, the fishing and cooking grind later on, I can turn those into forester's rations. But without a forestry kit, I have nowhere to stash them. And so they would just take up inventory space. So there's no point. For now, I could just use them for compost, or I could just drop them. So that's what I'ma do. In fact, you know what? Let's just do it now. Let's just let's just commit to it. There we go. Get out of here. All right. No luck on this world. Hopping to five three five. Priming on the alt. And hopping on the art. Here we go. It's almost time to move to cycle two, so we'll adjust our position, we'll adjust the camera. Regarding the vacation I will be taking, the RuneScape vacation, not the real life vacation. I don't, I don't do vacations in China. There's too many people. I'm thinking of picking up a souvenir. <laughs> After all, what holiday is complete without taking home a souvenir? I tweeted Mod Ash, asking him if there were any plans to add a hunter's crossbow to the hunter's guild. It just made sense to me. Um, you know, the hunter's guild. A gathering place of elite hunters the world round. Surely a good place to pick up a hunter's crossbow. Especially given the fact that the uh, the local wildlife just outside are a source of the material required to upgrade your crossbow to our hunter's sunlight crossbow. Surely there would be a crossbow in the guild. But it looks like they're, they're not going to do that. And I want a Sunlight Hunter's Crossbow. Because it's very Valamore y to me. It's very Valamore esque. I don't know. What adjective can we use? What's the adjective form of Valamore? It's very, very Valamorean to me. And I want it, you know? So I'm considering when I go on my vacation, and I've, I've already added it to my itinerary. I have an itinerary. Uh, it's a little bit complex. It involves uh, getting some jade jewelry uh, to teleport to Lumbridge and the Outpost and the Wizard's Tower to minimise time spent on the mainland and to minimise... Hello, mate! Hey! <laughs> um, I'm considering adding a trip to Yanil for a hunter's crossbow to my vacation plans. Oh, he's gone. I was just about to say hi. Sorry, mate. Um, but what do you guys think? I think I'm going to poll that... I'll make a little straw poll or something. I don't know how to do a straw poll yet. I'll figure it out. Make a little poll. Put it up to your vote. Should I grab a hunter's crossbow when I return to the mainland for my little holiday? Right. Cycle two. The alt stands here. The ultimate Iron Man stands here. The camera moves to here. And on my alt, I swivel the camera around. Okay. Chop, chop.
So I'm just reading chat. Australian worlds. Yes, I'm in Australian worlds because there are no Asian, no Asia servers. Um, terrible pity. Prime and hop and hop. Okay. Yeah, there are no Asia servers. And listen, I don't know how the servers work particularly well. So I, I'm thinking geographically here. I live in China. And it seems to me, I live in South China, by the way, that the closest servers to me, geographically speaking, are in Australia. So if that is the logic via which the servers operate, then <laughs> maybe I'm being completely idiotic here. I don't know. I'm not a clever man. Um, but I figured the Australian servers would be the fastest. You know, the distance for the signal to travel. Guys, you got to forgive me. I was born in 93. I don't know how shit like this works. Not that being born in 93 makes you inept, technologically speaking, but I never... I'm not good at computers, in it. I'm good at RuneScape. And perhaps not even RuneScape. Oh, mate, 100 ping. I wish. I'm normally like 200 ping. PVM's gonna be fun in the future. Perhaps by then I will have moved out of China. Or I will have secured some better Wi-Fi for myself. China is not like the rest of the world. In the rest of the world, you have the luxury of choice when it comes to what network provider you want to have your Wi-Fi set up with. But in China, we have three options. We have China Mobile, China Telecom, and China Unicom. They are all state-run, and uh, they are all similarly uh, characterized by enormous ping. Enormous ping. No, no. Not going to make a joke. <laughs> About my fat neighbor. No, stop it. <laughs> you know what's funny is like when I told everyone in my family all these years ago that I was moving to China, they started making like, you know, the, the silly jokes about, you know, the Chinese language and the way it sounds. And when I told them that uh, there was a city not far from where I live called Chongqing, mm. They thought I was joking, and I told them, go on the map and look it up. You'll find Chongqing. <laughs> I'm not being... I'm not making fun of the language. I do speak the language, though. So, I can poke fun at it if I want to. Pheasants, no thank you. Don't allow anything outside unless it blocks considerable uh, a considerable amount of content. So the Hunter's Crossbow does not block any content, really. It is only going to be a ranged slot weapon. Um, not even that competitive. I will have a magic short bow in the future. Uh, we can get bowstrings from an impling and... Well, you can see I'm already at magic trees. I'll get the fletching level to make one of those later. Um, it won't be a huge, you know, the series would not suffer. Hello! The series would not suffer without a Hunlight, a Hunlight Sunter's Crossbow? What the fuck? A Sunlight Hunter's Crossbow. So maybe you're right, maybe I won't get one. Um, I will put it up to a vote though, I think, because I have to be honest, I really want one. They look so nice, and it's so Valamorian that, uh, you know, it'd be a nice thing to have. But you are correct. You are correct uh, regarding that. Um, Runecraft and Rune Mysteries. That is a hard lock. That is a must do. Eagle's Peak, Box Trap, Hunter's Guild. That is a hard lock. That is uh, considerable content that we'd be missing out on. So that is a must do. Maybe the Sunlight Hunter's Crossbow is an unnecessary option. Did I hop worlds before? Three, four, three, four. Okay, hop. Maybe I won't do it. Maybe I'll just slave away with my magic short bow. And like Squidward peeking through the blinds at SpongeBob playing outside, watch all the other 
players or Valamor Locked Ironmen who made exceptions running around with their lovely Hunter Sunlight crossbows and I'll be there with my magic short bow. It would give us a reason to hunt Sunlight Antelopes beyond just getting the experience. And there is a serious hunter grind on the horizon because, let's be real, lamping to 48 Slayer is going to take a very, very long time. We're going to need something to do in the meantime, so why not just max hunter? Why not max fishing? Why not max cooking? Why not max fucking everything that we can while we lamp to 48 Slayer? Crafting is going to be a big thing later on, but... I'm saving that grind for after 48 Slayer. Ask me why. It's because using the charter ship method involves hopping worlds a lot. Uh, a bit like what I'm doing here. And unfortunately, hopping worlds does delay random events. I don't want that to happen. Oh no, we got kicked out. Ah, shit. That's embarrassing. So sorry you had to see that. So yeah, crafting, the, the serious crafting grind, um, I think it's Sunrise or Sunset Locked in the CC. He's just got like 78, 79 uh, crafting. Absolutely incredible. He's just been hopping all day, every day at the charters for his crafting level. He's on his hopping grind. I'm on my hopping grind. I will do it one day, but it will only be after I've lamped to 48 Slayer. I really hate uh, Hopping Worlds. Again, oh my goodness. Guys, I'm so sorry that you're seeing me being kicked off. The uh, the VPN situation does make things a little bit shaky. The The handshake with the login server doesn't always, uh, you know, sometimes, you know when you go to high five someone and you and you kind of, you kind of miss and you whiff the high five. And it makes like a kind of like a, a flaccid like sound and you're like, oh god, that was a really bad high five. Let's try it again. I sometimes have to do that with the login servers, so just bear with me. Thank you so much. Where the fox is at? Come on! Yeah, Lamping 48 Slayer is, um... I was very nearly persuaded not to. I'll be honest, I was very nearly persuaded not to. Um, but you know what? There's plenty to do in the meantime. Plenty to do in the meantime. Pheasant! Get fucked. There are many AFK grinds that we can embark on while we gather our lamps. So I'm not concerned. And Perilous Moons is not going anywhere. It's, there's no ticking, ticking clock here for me to... Quickly get to Perilous Moons, otherwise it'll disappear. That's not going to happen. No, no. The only pressure I have, if indeed I can call it pressure, is to uh, keep things fun, keep things engaging, keep things entertaining for you guys. And to be honest, as long as things are engaging for me, I'm sure I can find a way to make them engaging for you as well. Because at the end of the day, I'm playing the game the way I want to play it. Because uh, lamping or no lamping, I was going to be playing Old School RuneScape as often as I am already. Anyway, so why not Lamp Slayer? Not gonna lie, from a gamer standpoint, it's very noble. It's not the best idea for a content creation standpoint, though. You may prove me right. I mean, you may prove me wrong uh, and prove yourself right. Time will tell. Those... Those individuals who will stick with me through till the end. Well, I will have found my core community, I suppose you could say. But you are right. I'm going to have to try a little bit harder to keep things engaging for everybody while I gather lamps. I will find a way. I'll make it work. At the end of the day, it all comes down to this. I cannot train Slayer without leaving Valamore. And I cannot leave Valamore for anything that is not hard locked. And that is that. What brings you to China? Money! 
<laughs> nah. I love traveling. Um, I originally came here to travel. I, uh, I was living in Shenzhen for a while. It's a very interesting city. Uh, yeah, travel, work, uh, money, opportunity. It's fun to see uh, the rest of the world, you know, experience the alternative civilization, as if you will. Um, I heard someone call call Asia the 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 alternate civilization because civilization developed and evolved in such a different way to uh, to us in the West with our you know Judeo Christian backgrounds and so on. China is not a religious country at all. In fact, organized religion is often seen as, uh, how do I say this, not a good thing, something to be feared, something that is, uh, something to be wary of. Buddhism, uh, Hinduism, Hinduism, no, 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 there's no Hinduism here. No, uh, the religion in China is mostly, if there is religion, it's Buddhism. And uh, there was another religious sect whose name I will not mention because I don't want to get in trouble. But um, it starts with an F. And you can read all about it if you want to. I'm not going to get political in any way. But yes, uh, for better or worse, it is the alternate civilization. And it is incredible. I have not had a dull day since I moved to this incredible country. It's not a perfect place. I'm sure you uh, know all about the many ways in which our relationship between the East and the West is often challenged by our differences. But that is the way things are. And I love living here. I won't live here forever, though. Furries! <laughs> Haven't seen any of those since I moved here, I will be honest. Lots of cosplayers! Lots of cosplayers. Lots of cosplayers cosplaying characters that I don't recognise. Um, China has its own little intranet of uh, of uh, anime or you know popular media that uh, we don't really see in uh, in the West and abroad. Um, they call it soft power. You know, uh, there are countries like you know America, Japan. Some European places, they have a lot of soft power, and that is uh, a country's ability to influence the globe, you know, the global society, through ways other than by force. So, Japan's anime, sushi, um, its language, its, uh, its architecture, and so on, uh, is very popular. That's, you have, you know, you have, uh, what are they called? Weeaboos and things like that. You know, it's, their soft power is immense. And so you often find people in other countries enjoying partaking in Japanese culture. But China, you don't have that so much. China keeps itself to itself, normally. You don't often find, you know, Chinese... Actually, there's been a, there's been, there's been a bit of a, uh, uh, how would I say? An upsurge in, in... Uh, exports in, in Chinese popular media. You have the Three Body Problem is on Netflix right now. Um, there was The Wandering Earth, which came out. Oh, no! He's taking our tree! Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, shit. Huh. What are we going to do? What should we do, guys? Should we go grind something else for a while? Until James Quark is he? In, are you in, are you uh, are you watching, James? Are you with us? Are you here with us now? Please give me a sign. I'm here in chat. I'm reading chat. There's so much to do in Valamore, and with part two coming in a few months, there will be more content. Yes, you are absolutely correct. So I'm not scared. I thought that was the religion you were talking about. Oh, you mean the, 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 the aforementioned unnamed religion that I mentioned? Yes, there is that. I won't talk about it, though, because it's a very sensitive topic. But I think you know what I mean. 
Um, guys, I don't think I can, uh, I don't think I can do forestry as long as we have a buddy guy here, um, chopping the trees because, uh, we won't be able to prime the timer. May have to go do something else for a while. What do you reckon? Should we go do something else for a while? Hmm, halfway to 12, Hunter. Almost to 8, Construction. What do you reckon? Should we go do something else? Should we go and train some combat? I've got some iron arrows I need to work through. I could go grab the oak short bow. From the bar in town, we could go shoot some buffalo for a while. Or maybe I should just end the stream right here in shame. He has gone. Right. Well then. We continue. <laughs> we continue with the grind. Don't end. I won't end. I was messing with you. I won't leave you hanging. I'm here till the end. Okay. The old trees will end up. Ah, chop! Let's get some foxes. This is gonna be foxes. Say it with me. This will be foxes. Well, now you know they do call pheasants foxes of the bird's nest. Not what we're looking for. We are hopping. Oh, no! How embarrassing. The shame. Who has a handbell? Ring the bell. Bong. Shame. Shame me. What time is it where you are, everybody? What are you doing? How are you enjoying your morning or your evening? Do you have snacks? Are you hydrated? Oh! Paint me a picture. It's 9pm. The fox emojis! Yes! <laughs> the fox emojis! No luck this time. Not to worry. We persevere. Why? Because this is my Valimor. You know, this whole series is just an excuse for me to shout, This is my Valimor, whilst I play epic music in the background. <laughs> there will come a time. What's that line from Lord of the Rings? I see in your eyes the same fear that would shake the heart of me. <laughs> there may come a day when the age of man comes crashing down. But it is not this day. This day we fight. And put fox emojis in the chat. All right. You heading to bed soon? It's important to have a consistent sleep cycle. Roots! We'll do that. I fuck with the roots. Nice woodcutting experience. What are you farming, Caligun? What crops are you tending to this evening? What herbs? What herbs be a growing? Hey, there we go. We're going to hit 60,000 anima bark in a moment. Jesus Christ. That is enough to buy six felling axe handles. That is... That's a bit of money. Does nothing for us right now, though. Shit, we're going to have a redwood tree if... Oh, no. No maples. Unless they add maples to Auburn Vale. It was very orange looking. 
What am I talking about? Redwood tree, maples, what am I talking about? We, if we get a forester, we could get the forestry outfit. That would be sweet. In the future, one day. You need noted logs of every variety for the forestry outfit, I believe, don't you? And the lumberjack outfit. Did they update the lumberjack outfit? Can you get it from outside temple tracking, or is it still locked to temple tracking? I got the lumberjack outfit on my alt uh, years ago doing temple tracking. How about now? Deadliest fern. What what is going on, man? Why why has your work schedule changed so much in the last in such a short span of time? That doesn't seem healthy in one month. Get it from forestry. From forestry. Excellent. Okay, cool. So be real with me, guys. Do you think we're going to get a forester in uh, in the upcoming phases? There's one in Prif. There's one in Drainer. And there's one more. Where's the other one? It's not in Zaya. Is it in Sears Village? I can't remember. Forgive me. If they add a fourth to this continent, Valamor seems like the appropriate place to do it. Wouldn't you agree? Or would you disagree? And let nobody judge you. I believe. I believe. I believe, David Hobson. David. Can I call you David? I believe. I have faith. You know what they should do? Or rather, look, I'm not going to say what they should or shouldn't do. You know what I think would be pretty cool if they did? You know we got Master Farmers just outside Fortis. I was talking to the, the CC the other day, and I thought this was kind of funny. When you try to steal from a master farmer in Valamore, they say the exact same thing. If you fail, as they do in Drainer and Ardoin, they say, Cool, blimey, mate, what are you doing in my pockets? In Valamore, which has been locked away for centuries, they somehow inexplicably have the same dialect as Drainer and Ardoin. Is that not terribly interesting? <laughs> I reckon they should uh, stop saying what they should do. They shouldn't. If they did it, it would be cool if they gave these master farmers in Fortis their own Valamore themed or Valamorian response when you fail to pick their pockets. You know how in the... Uh, what's that guy's name? Prince Itzla Arkan, the guy from the, the quest line. He calls you Neil Sal, which probably means friend or something. You know, they could be like, Neil Sal, why do this to me? I don't know. Look, I'm not a writer. But call cool, blimey, mate, what you did in my pockets doesn't sound very Valamorian, does it? Ha! <laughs> Stowaway master farmers trying to capitalize on the competition of a new continent. That is entirely plausible, actually. Why didn't I think of that? You could be onto something. We got a beehive and we have two logs. God damn it. All right. Give me a moment. I'm going to let my alt have a little bit of fun here. He has a lot of magic logs. And believe it or not, I do still play my alt. He is on a construction grind right now to get the ornate rejuvenation pool in the player-owned house. So, every little helps. While he's doing that, I will hop on the ultimate Iron Man to the next world. I'm just chilling by the magic trees. Did he just make a Clinton reference? What the hell? What the hell? Emotional damage. All right. Uh, 535. There's that. Okay, we prime the tree and we hop on the alt and we 
continue. What's going on here in the clan chat? Father Dream is training his prayer. I'm looking forward to training my prayer. We will begin with Hill Giants for the Big Bones. And we'll do that until we are level 30. And then we will use the Bone Shard method at the Tail Mat. I have a sneaking suspicion that to uh, participate in the Teomat prayer training method, you do need to complete Twilight Promise. I don't believe it's locked behind Perilous Moons. But that is how we will be getting overheads. And beyond. Probably. Overheads and beyond. Oh, okay, so we're back on 387. The cycle moves to cycle 2, so we change position, we swivel the camera. And make that a bit bigger, and click, click, off we go. Can we get foxes this time? We feeling lucky? Never lucky. Prime, hop, and hop. We go again. Can we get foxes? Give us the foxes. Please. I need... I need the foxes. I need it. I very, very need it. I need it like a baker needs dough. We get Entlings. Uh, nah. Nah. Spam clicking. Not fun for me to do. Not fun for you to watch. Maybe fun for you to watch. But not fun for me to do. You can, actually, if you have the menu entry swapper plugin on Runelight, you can swap the left click option on the Entlings for prune top, backsides, whatever it is you want, and you can just spam left click them for massive experience. So that's fun to do. No luck. Hop and prime and hop again. It's in the air. I can feel it. The foxes will be here. Like the eagles in Lord of the Rings. The foxes are coming. The eagles are coming! Nope! The pheasants are coming! And we... are leaving. I gave some thoughts to, uh doing the pheasantry event for chances at the golden pheasant egg, but I'm going to give that one to Sigma. He can be the one to get the pheasant pet before anyone else. Which isn't to say that if I did the pheasant event, I would get the pet first, but you know. I believe he will be the one. He deserves to be the one to get the pheasant pet before me. Before anyone. He has staked his claim, and I support him fully. I would like the fox, but right now we have roots, and we fuck with the roots. We fuck with the roots. Check this out. You see this? Best in slot cosmetics. Oh, hey, there we go. The fox emoji. The fox emoji! It didn't bring us foxes, but it did bring us roots, and... On my Valamore, we chop our roots. We chop all our roots. Do you guys remember Epic Meal Times? You watch Epic Meal Times when it was on? I fucking loved that show so much. I I I thought it was 
one of the funny. It was like 10 years ago, right? 10, 11 years ago. I thought that was the funniest thing I had ever seen at the time. Bacon strips. Bacon strips. Bacon strips. More bacon strips. Muscles glasses with the cheese grater. Why do I bring up epic meal times? I said we chop all our roots on epic meal times. They eat their burgers. They eat all their burgers. Hey, this is my Valentine. There was a guy in the comment section comparing my name to my Valentine from Yu-Gi-Oh! I thought that was very funny. And he asked me, he implored me to make a Yu-Gi-Oh! My Valentine reference. Which I thought was very, very funny and a very, very good idea. However, I'm about to say something that's, that might upset a few of you. I never actually watched Yu-Gi-Oh! I was a Pokemon kid. Didn't watch Digimon much either. Digimon scared me, actually. I was very scared of Digimon when I was younger. I think it was the movie when they go into that digital world and it's like that that mutating virus Digimon. That scared the crap out of me as a kid. So I never watched that. I watched Pokemon. But Yu-Gi-Oh! No, I watched Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged series on YouTube when it was uh, when it was out and about. Gross! Flowering bushes. Get the hell out of here! Suspicious! So what I probably will do... Run Escape, you can't tell where I'm from? I'm from uh, the land of fish and chips, and cup of tea, and roast dinner, and bad weather, and worse food, and Mary Poppins. London. England. The original colonizers. Sorry about that, by the way. I hope one day you can forgive us for our transgressions. But I watched Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged series, and I loved that show to death. They were the main competitors to Team Four Star doing the Dragon Ball Z Abridged series, which was also fucking hilarious. So I won't make a Yu-Gi-Oh! reference, but I will make a Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series reference. You guys ever watched Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series? That was even longer ago than uh, Epic Meal Times. What do we got? Oh, we got foxes! The emojis have come in clutch. Our prayers have been answered. Our faith restored. Our momentum. Maintained. Where's the next one? There. Yes, the fox is moving away from the trap. We love that. I enjoy the delay on the fox. Oh, shit. Get it, get it, get it. I enjoy that he's a little bit slow. I enjoy that it takes him some time to think about what am I, uh, where am I gonna, where am I gonna work? Uh. We enjoy that. It gives us time to move to the trap. As long as you have started disarming the trap when the fox walks onto it, you are safe. It won't get him. You just have to reach the trap before he does, which means sometimes when you get unlucky with the trap placement, they place a trap right next to him and you're eight or nine tiles away. That's a real butt-clenching moment. You just hope that he'll stand there scratching his head for long enough for you to reach the trap and begin disarming it before he steps up. Oh, we're getting very close to level 12. Oh, right, that's what I'm talking about. Right, get that one. That is so close to him. You can't see it because I've got all these tile markers on the ground. I apologize for that. In fact, I don't even think I need these uh, these tiles here. I don't need those anymore. It's just cluttering up everything. Where is it going? Where are you dropping the... 
Oh, you're leaving. No fox whistle this time. But we are always happy to receive a fox event. One step closer. To the coveted. Never seen any Yu-Gi-Oh. Never seen Yu-Gi-Oh. I never watched Yu-Gi-Oh, but the abridged series was very funny. It was just it was just some guy on YouTube. Um, was it one guy? Or was it a few people? You know, they did their own dub. They did their own edits, and it was it was just very very funny. You're saving the foxes now to later train on Hunter Pyre foxes. Right? Yeah. So, perhaps I'm not so altruistic after all. I'm only doing this so I can hunt spicier foxes. <laughs> Give me the spicy foxes. We're not going to do the dried event because we have the petal garland already. We don't have it on the alt, but that doesn't fuss me. I can go do forestry on the alt anytime. Anytime. After the forestry grind is over for us here. Yeah, maybe the references I'm making in the videos are a little bit too niche. To be honest, I make them for myself because they make me laugh, which is probably the most important. Back to back, Dryad. She is thirsty. Be gone, thought. That is not the beaver I'm looking for. Hello there. This beaver will do fine. Sixty thousand anima bark. I just noticed that. Wow, it's a lot of bark. More bark than a three-headed dog. I need to work on that one. All right, we return to cycle one. We are just storming through these cycles. So, the alt moves to this square, the UIM use moves to this square, we swivel the camera, we line up the trees, and we click to begin. What are we going to get this time? Will we get foxes? Will we even get an event? Or will we be empty-handed? As long as it's not a fucking leprechaun. We got a beehive with three logs in the inventory. I'll take that for three, three, two. <laughs> for eight experience, we take the beehive. Let's get the alt in there. No, oops, I clicked again on the alt. There we go. Right. We're going to hop on the ultimate Iron Man and wait for the alt in the next world. More bark than the foxes do, because foxes yap. More yap than a... Yeah, I'll work on that one. I'll work on that one. How's the bite? No bite. These are friendly foxes. Did we run out of... Okay. Okay! I had less... Less logs on the alt than I thought I did. So he was finished with the beehive pretty quickly. So he's hopping into the world right now. Oh! <laughs> he got logged off. <gasps> Whoopsie daisy! Sorry to keep you waiting, everybody. Experiencing some technical difficulties. There he is. All right, line up the trees and begin. Oh, I love it when they do that. I love it when they, when I get the clicks tick perfect and they both turn at the exact same time with bot-like precision. No event. We hop. We hop. We get logged the fuck out. Shit. The shame. The shame is real. Oh, we got logged out on the alt as well. Two for two. Our luck is turning. The two for two log out surely means that the next event will be foxes. What goes around comes around. I'm calling foxes. This is going to be foxes. You'll see. It wasn't foxes. I didn't mean this one. I mean the next one. I meant the next one. The next one's going to be foxes. You'll see. You'll all see. My premonition. 
Fox is yap. Hmm. What does the fox say? Can I explain the world hopping for OSRS Trevor? Hello, Trevor. Okay. I cannot go into specific detail about this because I don't want to sabotage an established method that was given to me, um, given to us in the Valmolot community uh, as an act of goodwill. Um, however, it does involve priming a tree's timer on one world, hopping to the next world, and chopping a tree whose timer has been previously primed by you. I'm doing it with an ult because my UIM doesn't have a forestry kit. If you envisage the trees as dominoes, we line up the dominoes in one world. You can't see me doing it. I'll tell you what, I'll do it on the ult right now. So, off he goes. He begins to chop the tree, and while he's chopping, he logs out. He doesn't stop chopping before he logs out. He logs out while he's chopping. That's crucial. We set up the dominoes in one cycle, and we knock them down right now, like this. So this tree was primed about, oh, maybe 10 minutes ago by us on a previous cycle. On cycle two, we prime cycle one. On cycle one, we prime cycle two. And the first log chopped once the tree's timer runs out. We'll fell the tree and roll for an event. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Uh, magic trees give a higher event roll chance than other tiers of tree do. I believe that's what I was told. And all evidence suggests that is the truth because when we're not getting terrible RNG, the events come in ridiculously quickly. I mean ridiculously quickly. Sometimes you'll get like back to back to back to back to back events. Although back to back to back to back to back foxes, I have yet to receive that yet, so. We remain hopeful though. So I get an event almost every tree. Hey! There we go. All right, is this gonna be the coveted back to back to back to back fox event? Let's see if it happens. All right. Hey, we're going to get level 12. Nice. We're going to get level 12 hunter on this one. Unless we fail, tragically, like a loser. Which is possible. I think we've I think we've got 12 hunter in the bag, everybody. 5 levels to go. Wow. And it only took well, I'll need to do the math on that, but it took a very long time. It took a very, very long time. I mean, Sigma spent 20 hours, I think he said in his video, getting to level 2 Hunter. Hey, level 12. Uh, I have spent literally days. Oh no, he's going to walk into this trap, isn't he? No, thank God for that. The diagonal. Saved by the diagonal. Thank you, Fox, for your... Precise pathing, you saved us there. Now, how far towards level 13 will this event get us? The remainder of this event gets us 7.2% so far. I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. 12% already? This is... Now, you see, he moved on to the trap there. Not long after I started disarming it, but I was disarming it when he stepped onto the tile. So he is safe. As long as we are disarming the trap once he arrives, we are safe. Even though the, the 3D model graphic there suggests that the trap is still there when he walks onto it, but it doesn't activate because we are disarming it. All right. No fox whistle that time, but level 12 hunter. Very happy with that. Is there a vulnerable specific Discord or chat channel on RuneScape? OSRS Trevor, yes, we do have a clan chat. Valamore's FE. If you're in game right now, you can come hop into world 426 there. Um, or 
world 342 there and i'll, I'll alert the uh the owner i'm not the owner um our friend valamore fe uh created this clan chat and then made me the co-owner because because he's a lovely guy just like that um we'll get you in there and if you want to join the discord oh i would love that that would be fantastic if you joined our little community you can do so by going to any of my three videos that are up on youtube right now going into the video description and you will find the link to the discord there we have a community already of about hmm, how many are we at now let me just have a little gander we have a community of about 48 there's 48 of us jeez that happened really quickly that's tremendous news that makes me so happy okay we prime the tree on the alt we hop on the alt we hop on the iron man and we keep on grinding bond jefe bond boss jefe or is that bond life my fellow pure Valamokt, ultimate iron man another believer in the lamp praise the lamp we praise the lamp give me a lamp Please, Becky, give me a lamp. We fuck with the roots. We chop our roots. We cannot turn down the blessed XP. Entlings is great XP now, but it's too click intensive. The Dryad gives pretty good XP, but it takes too long. Too much standing around. But the roots is a perfect balance between... Engaging content, <laughs> not too many clicks, and delicious experience per hour. It's just a little bit more than a teak tree chop every single roll, which is wonderful. We love it. We are, yeah, 58k away from 78 wood cutting. My gosh. All of that from forestry events and the occasional magic log chopped on the UIM. Just to give you an impression of how long we have been here. Oh, sorry, Trevor. I talk very fast. Valamore's FE. That's Valamore with an S at the end, like plural Valamore's, I suppose. FE for iron. And, uh, yeah, let me know. Um, are you, I think to apply to the clan, you need to be in the same world as me. But let me know if you are going to apply. And I'll go ahead and open up. Tell you what, I'm going to tell... No, I'll do it myself. I don't want to bother my my friends there. Valamore ass! Who's Valamore ass? <laughs> what a name! We love it. All right, taking a second here to, ooh. Never mind. I'm going to ask. I'm gonna ask the owner to open it up because uh, I'm afraid I can't show you my bank pin. That would be ridiculous. I would do it myself, but I'm streaming and I don't want to show everyone my bank bin. LOL! Thank you for your patience. You are leveling your Valmore Locked Ultimate Iron Man whilst watching me. Aliator, Aliator, welcome. Good luck. With your Viamalok UIM. What grind are you on right now? Tell me everything. What is your strategy? What are your goals? Are you Lamping Slayer? Did I already get the roots on this world? Do I need to hop? I'm too distracted. Come on, man. Be a professional. Guys, did I get an event on this world already? I think I did, didn't I? I did. I'm, I'm going to hop. 
I'm gonna hop. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna hop, and I'm gonna prime on the alt. Uh, boom, hop. Okay, we're done. You're lamping, Hunter. You're gonna make Slayer an exception. You're gonna make Slayer an exception. So you have a brain between your ears. I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear that you plan to enjoy the game. Instead of what myself and Bond UIM are doing. Which is nothing short of... Unmitigated cringe. <laughs> and suffering. Yes, uh, I judge no one uh, on how they play the game. If you want to make an exception for Slayer, you want to make an exception for any skill. Runecraft, Hunter, you name it. You play the game you want to play and let nobody judge you or tell you you're doing it the wrong way. This is your game to play. For me, it's an integrity thing. Um, I said I am locked in Valamore, and so locked in Valamore I shall be. For all things that are not hard locked. I was talking about this earlier with everybody. Uh, Runecraft, I will go and do Rune Mysteries. Eagle's Peak, I will go and do that as well. Because it's just content that we won't have access to otherwise. Oh, gross flowering bushes. My hay fever is acting up. Let's get the hell out of here. Still juggling with the idea of maybe picking up a Hunter's Crossbow from Yanil in the vacation that I plan to take in an upcoming episode. I will put that to a vote though because, let's be real, not getting a Hunter's Crossbow, more roots, will not lock me out of any substantial content. It will just be a nice cool accessory to have. The price to pay for me, I think, if I do choose to get the crossbow, will be that I want to get the fletching and the range level and the hunt level necessary to obtain it, create it, and wield it before I go and get it. And of course, it will be one inventory slot that I will never get to use on the UIM. So, you know, it does come with uh, its appropriate... Uh, what's the word? Uh, proportionate disadvantages. You're going to do Eagle's Peak, Room Mysteries, Rune Ritual, Lamp Hunter, and you get the zero comments there. That's it. All right. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, that is um, that is a solid plan. And I support you in that fully. And I wish you luck. And when you get to Perilous Moons, I hope that you green log it immediately. Not immediately. No, I want you to... You deserve to have to work for it. You shouldn't just get spoon-fed so easily. But I hope you green log reasonably quickly. I will join you in about a year's time <laughs> when I have 48 Slayer. Solid rules to follow and then pull the edge cases. Yes, that is, uh, I like, I like how you call that the edge case. It is an edge case. We are edging the cro we're edging the crossbow. We're edging it, you know. Always edge your crossbows. All right, I'm gonna hop before I forget that I had an event on this world. I'm gonna prime. I'm gonna hop on the alt, and then it's nearly time to move to cycle number two. Already green logged on your normal Iron Man. Loved it so much you made the Valamore UIM. Oh well, congratulations. What's your KC? How long did it take you to get green logged? That's tremendous. You're already green logged. My gosh. Well, good for you. I'm from England. I'm from the UK. I'm from uh, a far green land known as Hertfordshire, which is where Tolkien drew inspiration for The Hobbit. So I'm a hobbit. You can call me a hobbit if you want to. I won't take offense. I do have hairy feet. And I do smoke more than is good for me. Don't smoke. It's bad for you. Right. Um, what am I doing? Oh, we hop. Yes. Just getting set up for the next cycle. And I'm going to prime this tree. And I'm going to hop. Okay. Again, sorry you can't see the alt. Uh, I'm priming the trees on the alt. To knock them down on the next cycle. You can't see that. It's happening off screen. I have another window open. Another client open. Um, so apologies for that. 
we chop. Will this be foxes? It will be entlings. I fuck with the entlings, but not now. It's just too much clicking. We hop. Prove it, the hairy feet. Feet reveal, when? <laughs> Get me to 10k subs, I'll give you a foot reveal. How about that? Don't clip this. Please don't clip that. <laughs> don't want to do a foot reveal, that is just so gross. <laughs> Hitchin. Hitchin. Is that a small place? Forgive me. I have not heard of Hitchin. Where is it close to? When I tell people I'm from England, they ask me, where are you from? And I say, oh, I'm from, uh, from Rickmansworth. You know, in Hertfordshire. And they say, Rickmansworth? I don't know Rickmansworth. Where's it near? What's it close to? It's the nearest big place. And I say, Watford. And they go, oh, yeah, I know Watford. You're from Watford. I'm like, no, I'm not from Watford. I'm from fucking Rickmansworth, mate. Don't mistake. I love Watford. But I'm not from there. Yes, Aliator, Hertfordshire. That is correct. So it's like Stevenage. Oh, nice. You are from Hitchens, just outside of Stevenage. What time is it in Stevenage? Sorry. What time is it in Hitchens right now? Are you in Hitchens or are you, have you since moved somewhere else for work or family or fun? You should be eight hours behind me, so it must be, what, six o'clock? Half past six, give or take? You've moved. Okay, you've moved out. Okay. No, Hitchens and Stevenage do not fit in the same sentence, just like Rickmansworth and Watford do not fit in the same sentence. A beehive, we have two logs. Whatever, it's two logs closer to level eight construction. How are we looking on the art? We got any logs on the art? Let me just, let's have some fun on the art. It's good to give the art some love every now and again, isn't it? He's working terribly hard for us. Ooh, he has a few logs in the log basket. Nice. Right. Prime the tree and hop. And hop on the UIM. There we go. It's half five. Okay, okay, cool. Nice. The work day is over. Is your work day over? Do you get off work at five? Are you home? Are you gaming? You are gaming. You're working on the UIM. Michael Bond, I'm going to read your comment in just a moment. Let me just prime and hop. Let's see what you said. I think it would be great for the Hunter's Crossbow, but definitely say only after Sunfire Antelopes because it becomes a Vala weapon. Exactly right. No, you are correct. I will only... Um, I will only commit to picking up the Hunter's Crossbow, if indeed the the straw poll in the future uh, allows me to, I'll only go for it if I have... Oh no, we got logged out! Oh no! I will only go for it if I have the appropriate Hunter level, Fletcher level, and Range level to immediately create it in the shop where I buy it and wield it before exiting the shop. Those are my conditions. Uh, and that means that those are also the conditions for the vacation that I'll be taking in the future. No shortcuts on this account. We we do things properly. You can't believe I'm the owner of Valamore. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I am the owner of Valamore. It's just a nickname, isn't it, mate? It's just a nickname. Although I do like to shout it from the tops of cliffs. To the sound of epic music. Give us the foxes. To celebrate 61,000 anima bark. Give us the foxes. Or give us nothing. You know, whatever you prefer. Whatever is your pleasure. There and there. We hop. 
I can stand with that on vacation. Nice. Yes. Thank you. I'm glad you agree. If you disagreed, that would be fine too. As I said earlier, the crossbow does not give us access to any substantial content. It's just a nice Valamore thing to have. We don't fuck with the pheasants. We immediately hop. How can we join your CC? If you want to join the CC, you can... You can search for... Okay, uh, take a look on screen. Here's the CC. Valamore's FE. Uh, I am not the owner, although I was. I have a key there. RX six here is uh, he can give you. He can allow you to apply. And Valmore Effie, who is the actual owner, he can also open things up to you. Um, I will let them know. Oh, Fortilius! Did Fortilius get twenty hunter? That's huge. Um, okay. I would let you in myself, but I have to use my bank pin to open up applications, and I don't want to do that on stream. So please forgive me. Can someone kindly open clan applications for another new f friend? Please and thank you with a heart. All right. Uh-huh. And we... While you're here, don't forget to join the Discord, if that's what you're into. Link to the Discord is in the description of my other videos. We have 48 members, maybe more now. We may have gained some new friends since we last talked about it about half an hour ago. Come and join the Discord. We have a competition going on right now. Very fun competition. First person to get a pet wins some bonds. That's no small prize. So... If you want to try your luck, win some bonds, get the bragging rights, come join the Varlocked Discord. Link in the description. We prime, we hop, we hop again. There should be a plugin to do Pankpin using them. You're probably right, uh, Kaylee Gun. You are probably absolutely right. Um, I will search for that another time. Oh, logged out, sorry. I'll search that another time when I'm not on stream. Um, you know, technical stuff is boring. You don't want to see me faffing around. You want to see me suffering and grinding. Come on, give us a fox. It's been a while. Done. Soul Heregit. <laughs> I love how imaginative some of these names are. So much better than my Valamore. Sunset Lock. Soul Heregit. La Lagamore. We got Beer Lover. Vala Dream. Vala Tor. Vartilius. Frank Varley. <laughs> Man, these are great. No! We got a leprechaun! Get out of here. I'm not sizest or anything, but. These are not the droids I'm looking for. Five three two, five three two. Come on, give us a fox. Give us a fox. Oh, we got pheasants. Thank you, but no, thank you. We prime, we hop, we hop again. Do we get kicked out or do we get let in? Did we, did we nail the high five? Did we high five the login server? We nailed the high five. Excellent. Nothing worse than a whiffed high five. No event. No sweat. We prime. We hop, we hop again. Kaligon, good night. Get a good sleep, and uh, I'll see you next time. I hope you get your Vorkath pet soon. You deserve it. 
Hey, Trevor got the magic staff best in slot mage gear. Congratulations. Was that from a moss giant? I think I remember reading in the chat, the clan chat, that the best in slot magic staff comes from a moss giant. Can you corroborate that for me? Jack Washiki, please tell me if I pronounced that correctly. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. And if you want to join the gang, you are welcome. It's from a moss giant. Okay, that's good to know. We are going to kill some fucking moss giants later on, believe you me. We're going to slaughter some moss giants. For runes and other delicious items. Can you imagine if we if we roll the rare drop table and get a dragon spear? Can you imagine? That would be hilarious. We'd keep that, I reckon. We'd find some creative way to use the special attack. I wonder if we can use the special attack in the Colosseum. I wonder, I wonder. They also have 18 air runes. 18 air runes! Uh, Trevor, no, I don't believe you do. You do need to do the Legends quest to get the Dragon Shield. The shield right half, I believe, is only obtainable from the shop inside the Legends Guild. And you can only create and wield the dragon square shield once you've completed the Legends quest, I believe. The other half is purchasable and droppable from the rare drop table. But the dragon spear... Wow, I can't believe I'm about to talk about this. You know, many, 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 many years ago... Hold on, we're just changing cycles here. The Dragon Spear was the first ever dragon weapon I ever obtained. Ever. And I uh, I remember, gosh, this must have been about 18 years ago, maybe longer. I trained to 60 attack on White Wolf Mountain. I'd purchased a Dragon Spear off another player. There was no grand exchange at that time. I think I paid an insubordinate amount of money for it. And I was so hyped. Because the dragon spear was the spear that the guy, the, the, the guy in the... You guys remember the old graphic of the, the, the knight and the skeleton from the old RuneScape days? The guy had a dragon spear. And I thought that must be the endgame weapon. And this was back when my school friends and I believed that Silverlight was the endgame weapon. And we'd be walking around, dude, I completed Demon Slayer, I got the fucking Silverlight, holy shit. That's like the best, that's like, best in slot wasn't even a concept then. It was just like, that's the legendary final weapon, you know? Um, that later evolved into what I believe was the Dragon Spear is the final weapon of the game. And I trained to 60 attack on wolves on White Wolf Mountain. Leprechaun. No, thank you. And I got 60 attack. And I equipped my Dragon Spear. And it sucked. <laughs> it was just the worst. And I was, my, my, my day was ruined and my disappointment was immeasurable. However, Dragon Spear, we get a Dragon Spear, that'd be pretty cool. It's better than a Rune Mace, that's for sure. But maybe not better than the Sulphurous Blades. Oh, Beehive. Okay, I'm going to look at chat now for a second, see what you guys have said. Must try it pretty close, close, and I've heard anyone else well. Oh, cool. Well, I'm glad I didn't, um, you know, mispronounce your name. Is that an uh, Eastern European name? Polish, perhaps? You can kill sour hogs through a dragon spear also. Do sour hogs specifically have the dragon spear on their drop table? Or do they just have equal access to the rare drop table like, like the other mobs do? Please clarify that for me. Um, regardless of that, you are Polish. Oh, fantastic. Wow, good guess, huh? Um, we don't have sour hogs in Valamore, unfortunately. So that's not an option for us. However, we do have other things with the rare drop table. So dragon spear, 
is a possibility. Very unlikely possibility, but a possibility nonetheless. You are from Poland. My friend, I spent one of my most beautiful holidays in my entire life in Krakow. I use the proper pronunciation. I don't say Krakow. I get made fun of for that sometimes. I don't really care. Um, I went to Krakow and it was... Uh, oh, logged out. It was during Christmas time and it was for the new year and it was... Probably the most beautiful city I've ever seen in my entire life. What an incredible place. I I long for the day that I can revisit Krakow during during the winter season again. The smell of the mulled wine, the the barbecue stalls, the sausages, the clothes market, everything. Just in the in the main uh, the piazza, the, the main square. Absolutely incredible. What an incredible city. Equal access. Alright, thank you, Daryl. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so yeah, we have hill giants, we have moss giants, um, they have rare drop table access. I don't think sand crabs do. Or do they? Please correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, we prime the tree on the alt, and we hop, and we hop on the UIM. Yeah, uh, is there a way to get a dragon stone in Valamore? Ah, uh, implings probably. That's a long way away, but that does mean that Ring of Wealth is possible, Glory is possible. Which means we may be able to buff our chances of getting something from the rare drop table. Later on. Whether or not that will be worth our time remains to be seen, but if we're still Lamping Slayer in 12 months time, and we have the Hunter level to catch the Implings, why not make some arbitrary goals <laughs> for rare drop table content? The shield is locked. Um, the spear, as I understand, has only one requirement, which is 60 attack. Legends quest. Unless they updated it, uh, and I am hopelessly ignorant, I don't believe the spear has a quest requirement. As far as I know, it's only the scimitar, the longsword, the dagger... The mace and the battle axe that have quest requirements. We got pheasants, we're not gonna commit to that. We're just gonna hop. We just want foxes. We don't even want beehives right now, we don't have enough logs. We hope the beehives will stay away until we have an inventory full of magic logs and we hope the foxes will come frequently. I'm pretty sure we could look it up on the wiki pretty quickly. Um, anyway. We will find out in the future. But Moss Giants remain uh, an important mob for us that we're going to kill for runes, for big bones, for seeds, for herbs. I think the black square shield is, uh, until we get a higher smithing level, best in slot for the shield in terms of melee. So that will be something helpful for us as well. Dragon medium helmet. Wait. No, Dragon Mentelm is not on the rare drop table, I don't believe. I feel like it used to be, perhaps, and then they uh, it got patched out. Oh, logged out. Dragon Spear is a cool 1 in 174,763 from Moss Giants without the Ring of Wealth. You know what, mate? I like those odds. <laughs> you will believe me when I tell you I have I have landed the Dragon Spear from a Moss Giant without a Ring of Wealth in the past. When grinding for Mossy Keys on, uh, on what is now my ult. Um, I was very upset. <laughs> I was very upset indeed. But uh, it has happened to me before, unfortunately. Let's see if it can happen again. One in 174,000. Jeez, Christ, that is a... That's a big number. My video has gone silent. You cannot hear me anymore? Oh, Daryl. 
My friend. My Yu-Gi-Oh adoring friend. Have you ever watched Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series? I watched Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series when I was uh, a younger man. And I loved it. And I would love lo nothing more than to make a reference <laughs> in an upcoming video. I'm gonna try and nail the voice. Ah, oh, you should check it out. It's from the same era as Team Four Star, the Dragon Ball Z abridged series on YouTube. It's just a bunch of guys, or one guy. Uh, I still I still don't know if it's one guy or several guys. Um, just doing their own dub of Yu-Gi-Oh, with like a, an alternate storyline, and it's just fucking hilarious. It's just it's the the comedy's aged a bit now because you know it was uh, it was during the time when like being random and just saying stuff like meow was hilarious. Um, so the the, the humor's aged a bit. But it's still, uh, for me, the nostalgia is hilarious. But uh, my Valentine's in it. But she speaks like this. It's me, my Valentine. And everyone like talks about her breasts all the time. Back when it was okay to do stuff like that. Like Joey speaks with a thick Brooklyn accent. And he's like, I think... Wait, how's Brooklyn accent? He's like, I think I'm in love with my, my Valentine's breasts. <laughs> you should check out uh, the Abridged series. I'd love to do a reference to the Abridged series. It's hilarious. Yo, you're not a fan of those? Oh, fair enough, mate, fair enough. Well, that's a matter of taste. That's totally fair. I was very young when I watched them. It's one of those references that if I did make it and somebody got it, it would it would mean the world to them, but to everyone else, they're like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Which is, to be honest, most of the references I make. You know, who watches Top Gear anymore? I've made so many Top Gear references in, the, in these videos so far. <laughs> card games. <laughs> this time on playing children's card games. That's the voice of the narrator from uh, the Abridged series. You're watching my Valamore. How's that for a reference? And is it Tristan? What's the other guy's name? The tall one. He speaks with a really dopey voice and constantly insists that he's friends with Spider-Man. It's, it's it's like a running gag. It is very funny. You used to watch Top Gear. You legend. You legend. Top Gear must have been the best series in the world. I just hopped to the wrong world. Come on, man. Be a professional. You clicked on the mute on the headset by accident. It's all right, mate. We all make those mistakes. For a while the other day, I was wondering why my, uh, why my voice recording sounded so bad. I hadn't figured out that my laptop had suddenly switched to its default setting, which was to use the, the built-in laptop's microphone. And I was rearranging my room, trying to get the acoustics just right, and I was scratching my head. I couldn't figure out why, why, or why was my voice uh, sounding so shit. And I went into the settings and it was like, you're not using your microphone. It's like, okay, all right, we figured it out. Oh, it's been a while since we've had some foxes. Where are you, you little furry ah, friends? Come on, where are the furries? We need some furries up in here. Oh, logged out. Sixteen point nine percent to level thirteen hunter. Can you believe there's only five levels left of this grind? Hopefully we'll have ten construction by then, and then we can just leave forestry behind us for now. Pheasants No thank you. I'm not a pheasant plucker. I'm the pheasant plucker's son. I'm only plucking pheasants till the pheasant pluckers come. I only have a meme mobile free-to-play account. Mate, don't put yourself down like that. Yes, it's niche. But it has just a right to be here as any other account type, account build, whatever you say. 
is that a series you're doing, Daryl, or are you just playing it uh, for your own your own personal enjoyment? Follum, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate your your kind words. Are you a member of the gang, or are you just passing through? We don't fuck with the entlings. These guys are nasty. Their bite is worse than their bark. If you give them the wrong haircut, they will cock your clock. It's a meme because I'm also a skiller. Mate! Enjoy yourself. A free-to-play mobile skiller. That ticks so many boxes. It's one. I think that's wonderful. I would watch that personally. That is a series that I would very happily have on in the background whilst grinding. I love it, mate. I love it. I hope you enjoy that. Can I ask why, uh, why mobile? Do you not have access to a PC or... Oh, you must do. You're, you're here. Ew, gross. Flowering bushes. Hay fever. Um, or is that something that you just like to work on while you are commuting or at work, say? You're in the Discord! You're a part of the gang! Thank you for giving us the pleasure of your company. Please don't feel pressured to join the clan. Being in the Discord is already a wonderful thing for me to hear. Are you aware of our ongoing competition? We have a competition. Oh, I got logged out. We have a competition. First person to get the pet, or a pet, while I'm all locked only, we'll get some bonds. If that doesn't sound good. If that doesn't sound good to you, a pet and bonds to celebrate, I don't know what, I don't know. I don't know how to please you, mate. I don't know how to, there is no pleasing this man. You're on mobile 90% of the time. Okay, that's totally fair. Mobile is comfy. If you live uh, the sort of lifestyle where you have to move around a lot. Or you don't have uh, consistent access to a safe and comfortable PC gaming space. Then, uh, yeah, mobile, mobile certainly does the trick. That's an awesome idea. Mate, yes. Join the competition. Right now, the the prize stands, I think it's like two or three bonds. However, the prize will grow if more people uh, pledge to uh, contribute, donate to the prize. Uh, the bonds are not coming from myself, believe it or not. This was a suggestion of another uh, very dedicated clan and Discord member, so we thank him for that. His name doesn't spring to mind immediately. Very rude of me to forget his name like that. But, uh, yeah. Donations and contributions are welcome and encouraged. And, of course, the more people donate, the more we stand to win once we get that pet. There's a Valmore chunker who's already... Yeah, yeah, crack with a K. His chunk... His chunk-locked Valamore restricted account has already got the Rocky pet. Two? Wait, two? He's had... So he's had the funny feeling twice? Oh my... God. That's astonishing. Wow, well. GG to him. That's I'm so happy to hear that. That's wonderful. Surely that means that the beaver is just around the corner for us, you know? Two Rockies. What the hell? That is, uh... That's incredible. What are the odds? Can someone give me the odds? What are the odds of receiving one Rocky? I'm, I'm guessing it wasn't a back-to-back -back Rocky, but still. Two Rockies... Incredible. No videos yet. 
Oh, there's a different... Oh, my apologies, my apologies. Right, well then, there's, um... Well, go, go watch Crack With A K's series. He's got a chunk lock series. Um, it's a, Admittedly, it's a bigger series than mine, so you've probably seen it already. But, um, he, in his most recent video, which got uploaded today or last night, um, for me it was last night, I think, he got the Rocky Pet, which is huge, because it's like his third or fourth episode, and he's already got a skilling pet. That's just incredible. The kind of luck you need to have that. Absolutely astonishing. Jack Mushiki. More likely to get this D spear without a ring of wealth than two Rockies. Good God, is that so? Oh my God! Well, I hope that uh, if he ever decides in the future to get a dragon spear, <laughs> that he doesn't have to wait too long. I hope his luck continues. What would you rather? Two rocky pets or a dragon spear? I don't know what my answer would be to that question. I would love a dragon spear. But if we get a pet... Hmm... Well, there's no way to ensure the pet in Valamor, and I don't want to break my Valamor locked restriction just to go and ensure a pet, unless we do it on our vacation. Coming up in episode... five or six. Oh, we're on a different cycle. What are you doing? Get there. Get there. Move the camera. Adjust the tree, and we go. Uh, Daryl, there is a series by a guy called Crack with a K. He is a chunk lock, Valamore restricted account. He's got about 10,000 subs, give or take. He's on his third or fourth episode. Eagle's Peak Vacation, that's correct, yes. We have confirmed drop rate of Rocky from thieving in houses. Um, I don't have the confirmed drop rate. Perhaps somebody else does. Uh, no, Daryl, I'm the one that unlocked Herblore. <laughs> no, I think um, most people have unlocked Herblore. It's, it just makes sense. It just makes sense. To be honest, it would have made sense to unlock both Herblore and... Um... Oh, hello. Who's this? Mr. Xenix. Mr. Xenix. Hello, my friend. Are you in the, are you in the stream? Are you in the chat? Or should I say hello to you here? Hello. My friend. Greetings and welcome. I should have unlocked Runecrafting and he loves the videos, mate. Thank you so much. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to hop now. But we can keep chatting here. Um, I should have unlocked Runecrafting and... How many times am I going to start this sentence and not finish it? I should have unlocked runecrafting and Herblore before coming to Valamore. Is what I should have done. But at that time, I was completely ignorant to the fact, as many of us indeed may be, that to lamp runecrafting, because let's be real, how many times has anyone ever lamped runecrafting? You do need to do rune mysteries. That was, uh... That was unknown knowledge at the time. It's not on the wiki. All right, it's not on the wiki. Link to the channel. Um, let me... Okay, I'm AFK. I hope I don't get a fox while I'm AFK. Crack with a K. Here he is. Okay, now he's got six and a half thousand subs. He's on his third episode of his Valamore One Chunk Iron Man. I'm going to link you to the video directly. There it is. Go give him a watch. Um, I really enjoy his series. I enjoy all Valamore locked series, whether they consider themselves competitors of mine, or just comrades on the same 
Farlam or Locked Journey. I welcome it. I love it. I love all of it. Pardon me. All it does when I see someone else post a video is it spurs me to work faster and harder to get my next video out. As long as the community is thriving in general, I'm happy. We are dry for foxes. I can feel the dryness. Run escape. Thank you, mate. Thank you for the fox emojis. It may not be bringing the foxes in game, but it makes a difference for me. It's not about the fox in the game. It's not about the fox on the outside. It's about the fox inside you that matters. What a weird thing to say. Elijah, I love your voice in your videos. Hope you reach a growing audience. Elijah, thank you, mate. That is such a cool thing to say. I really appreciate that. What a wicked thing to, to be told. Thank you so much. Um, more coming, all I can say. More coming. Unless I mysteriously lose my ability to speak in a tragic and unforeseeable accident, you will continue to hear my voice. Oh, sorry, Daryl, um, if there was a mis if miscommunication there. Um, Crack with a K is chunk locked, or is... Or am I the only one who's not chunk locked who's doing a series? Crack with a K is chunk locked. And then there's Sigma, and there's Mika RS, and there's a couple more. There's one guy called Blind Vala. Um, I hope he gets an audience soon. His videos only have about seven or eight views each, but... Um, there's a lot of potential in his series, I feel. And there's one more called Shmup or something like that. Shmler. He's got like a funny... His channel has a funny name that I can't quite recall off the top of my head. But I'm sure if you type in Valimore Locked and you scroll for long enough, you will find the champion of whom I speak. But what I would like to find more than anything are some fucking... Foxes, where are they? Come on! Link blind guy thing. His name's Blind Vala. Um, because it's a blind playthrough. He's not actually blind. Although that would be very unique content. Could you imagine? A Vala more locked Iron Man. But he's wearing a blindfold the whole time. That would be... <laughs> that would be incredible. Let me get that link up. I am actually subscribed to all these channels because I think it's very important to support the other community members. And I would hope they would subscribe to me as well. Uh, Blind Vala. Just looking him up now. His name is Kingston45. I am linking to his second video because that's the one that popped up first. Uh, Mika RS, uh, he started as a Hulk Orion man. I don't know if he still kept it or not. He actually started the series as an April Fool's joke, and then he decided to commit to it because he enjoyed it so much, which is... I love that. Just goes to show how wicked Valamore is. I think we all agree there. Valamore's pretty cool. Whether or not he's lost the hardcore status, I'm not sure. <laughs> Hey, there we go. About time. About time. The fox emojis from Run Escape made a difference after all. Long live the fox emojis. I serve only one master, and his name is Fox Emoji. Bringer of fox. Bringer of tra disarm. Breaker of traps. 
defeater of poachers, and hopefully, receiver of whistles. I would like to get the fox pet. A beaver will suffice. But a fox whistle would be an inventory space, but also frickin' sweet. Oh, that was a nice click. Thirty six point one per cent to level thirteen, man. So we're getting about 2% progress per trap. Maybe it's a little bit more. 2.5% perhaps? I'm not paying very close attention to it. Oh no, I think the fox is going to get this one. Are we going to get lucky? Okay, good. Um, either way, the, the XP rates for the forestry method accelerate exponentially once you get past those first few levels. Levels 1 through 4 were just so painful. It took Sigma, and indeed myself, about 20 hours. Alright, he is gone. I got no whistle from that one. And actually, guys, it's been a real pleasure. But I'm going to end the stream here. It's time for me to go and have some lunch. I got a rumbly tummy. So I'm going to love you and leave you. And uh, I will see you next time. All right. Big love to all of you. Remember, if you're not in the Discord and you want to join the Discord, you will find the link in the description of my videos. I probably will not publish this stream because I revealed a lot about the forestry method um, that I would like to remain a secret. All right. Cheers, guys. I will see you next time on my Valdemar. <laughs>